looking into the paranormal veil. Death waits for no one when it calls. Purgatory is the spirit's jail. Built behind the blind man's wall. Catch the specter behind the glass. EVPs and disembodied voice. It all happens when the bones are cast. After death, there is no choice. Looking into the paranormal veil. Death waits for no one when it comes. Purgatory is a spirit's jail. Built behind a blind man's wall. Pastors and healers and shamans and poets. We explore the dark and early. Well, hello, YouTubians. Ra here from Chasing Bones and Specters, and today we're marking it, making it official that I am part of Sea Bass because my shirt's in. Oh, that's a nice blue. Now the all important question. Does it fit? <laughs> Does it fit? Cover that up so there's not too much glare. Well, looks good. Yeah. Does it work? It works. Let's it see. works. All right. Look at that. People chasing bones and specters. Thunder Bay, Ontario. All right. So now it's official. I'm part of the team. I guess I'm allowed to investigate further now. There you go. All right. Again, if you guys you know, have any suggestions, if you hear anything about the Thunder Bay area, like us to check out, let us know in the comments section. Hit a like, subscribe, let your friends know about us. Y'all have a great day. Peace and love. Welcome, my YouTubians, to Flat Tunnel. Uh, this is where we're going to investigate next. Um, and we got Bad to the Bone playing in the background. This this gets kind of ominous, you know. We're going in here, Bad to the Bone starts playing. Anyway, um, yeah, this this is Flat Tunnel. It was built by the railway a long time ago. We pulled the tracks up, obviously. Uh, Anyway, one of the reasons I'm here is because one of our YouTubians came here with her son. I'm not going to mention her name or anything. Uh, she came here with her son, and they got big chills. And uh, all of a sudden, she got a pain in the small of her back, and her son got an instant migraine. So we want to investigate that and, and see if we can find them some answers, because they would like answers to those questions. Okay, I'm going to walk through here, see what I feel, and uh, figure out where to go from there. I mean, since I'm the sensitive or something you know i feel everything it only makes sense that i go through right on so i'm going in okay let's go okay. hang on i want to take a look at the roof here What's that? It's got a kink in my neck right here. So, that's good. Oh yeah, me too, right here, just now. Yeah. That pressure in the back of my neck, running across my shoulder blades. Mm -hmm. 
Hang on. We'll, we'll see if Bra feels it as well. Come up here and see what you feel. Oh, what I feel? Mm. Oh, let's see. I'm walking into a freezer right now. Well, yeah, there's that. Right there? Right there, yeah. Yeah, we all feel it then. It's yeah. all in the same spot. And when I was here yesterday on that side, I felt something here. All right. Yeah, I, was, I was standing here, it went from like my shoulder up into my head. So, I'll be, okay, well, I'm going right now. Can you go right across? All the way across? Yeah, check the whole thing, but you know, we got to go at my speed. Someone else want to take this camera for a minute? Cool, mosquito. There is something here, though. I can feel it. Oh. couple of footsteps over here. Yeah, I heard like footsteps or like drops of water, but like from where? Exactly. Let's run a double check. We'll find out. Well, the gums of water are possible to pick them up from some of the rocks. A little water bit of moisture. Down and yeah. A bunch of time there's ice that forms yeah. along the roadway here. However, I want to see if I can find it now. Uh-huh. But doesn't look like anything actually falls from the ceiling, it comes down the walls. Yeah, and if that's the case, why would we hear... Why would we hear a drop of water? Yeah. I've got a little bit of a pressure on the right side now, and in my right ear. Kind of like when you're going in a plane and like your ears pop, but like right before the pop. Ears open. Of course, now it stops. <laughs> Now it was beside you, so how is that possible? Yeah. It's gone around a complete circle here, but there's nothing to do. Well, I just want to drop the sand here. Yeah. No, two it's drops gotta, right there. It's got to be just being water, but the way, the way it sounds, we're going to call this natural, it's just water. Yeah. Yeah, I can. I hear it. Yeah, water reach your fingers. Yeah, I don't agree with water. Okay, I'm going to take a minute break here. All right, you want me to stop the video? Yeah. Hey, once again, we're feeling uh, the breeze. Switching direction. Come, again, coming towards us. Mm -hmm. Looking out, we can see the sun shining. No, no branches or anything moving. Oh, yeah. Like it's, oh, you can't see because of the light, but there's there's nothing out there. Well, we can see there's no no trees, no branches, no, no physical grass. physical evidence of a breeze, but I feel it full on my face. Yeah, my arms are feeling it and a little bit on my face. Mark time, I just heard someone yelling over here. You just heard someone what? So yelling. I just heard someone yelling. Okay, that's around 20 to 25 seconds into this video. Okay, so we'll double check when we get home. Okay. Okay, I didn't hear anything. Uh, I'm just gonna keep recording as well. No, I'll switch camera and then continue. Oh, ice cold. Right here. Put your hand here. It's mighty 
dark here. Oh, uh, yeah, no, I, I, I know. That's bad, man. That is like tight. But over here, mm -hmm. nothing. It's just hmm. right here. Yeah, well, before I walked over here, there was a cool breeze. If I was back on my neck. And you can see that nothing had moved in No, there's no wind. There's, the there's no wind. And that, now it's gone. Okay. That was ice cold a second ago. And now it's perfectly fine. Yeah. Hang on, I'm going to try <coughs> on my on my phone I have a recorder. I'm just going to try to see if I can get anything. I doubt it, but... Yeah, uh, again, I'm kicking myself for not bringing the, the EVP. Hello, this is Danny from Chasing Bones Inspectors. We have Bra. Hello. And we got Blaine with us. How's it going? Are there any spirits here that want to say hi? One of our YouTubians, she came in here and she got a sore back. And uh, her son got a real massive headache. Now, I don't believe anyone did that on purpose, but uh, could they have been uh, feeling uh, your pain from a long time ago? A residual, uh, maybe back trauma from doing the work, or maybe someone had a rock hit them in the head. Shine up there. It looks like just along that far side. It looks like someone was standing there. Okay, closing communication. Alright, let's have a listen. I don't know if we'll get anything or not, but... Hello, this is Danny from Chasing Bones Inspectors. We have Bra. Hello. And we got Blaine with us. How's it going? Are there any spirits here that want to say hi? One of our YouTubians, she came in here and she got a sore back. And uh, her son got a real massive headache. Now, I don't believe anyone did that on purpose, but uh, could they have been uh, feeling uh, your pain from a long time ago? A residual, uh, maybe back trauma from doing the work, or maybe someone had a rock hit them in the head? Okay, well, I didn't get nothing that time, but, uh, okay, we'll take a break and we'll look up here until some of us feel something. Yeah. What you got? <coughs> I see a guy in coveralls. Right there. And as you can see, it's Dad's ability working because I can't see anyone. So that's his special gift. I'm just going to see if you'll pop it. Hang on. Wants to hang back? Yes, yeah. Just hang back and put it there. Excuse me, sir. Just going to mention I have a pressure in my head again. It's the whole head this time. Are you uh, trapped here or are you just coming over? Okay, if you just smiled and walked into the wall. I'll take that as he can come and go. Okay. I'll take that as he can come and go. <laughs> He's probably just busy working right now. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's what I, I had a feeling of strain on my body, like I've been manually working. I wish I had my machine with me because it's much better than this. Mm -hmm. Well, we always come back. Well, we are coming yes, back. Yes, sir. Huh. That's your cane. Okay. Whew. How are you? Uh, I'm Danny. That's my brother, Bra. And that's my son, Blaine. We're chasing both inspectors. We're investigators. Do you mind saying hello into this device? Just so people know you're there. Ow. Are you uh, trapped here or do you just come and go? Okay, he just smiled and walked into the wall. I just heard him say I can go. He just smiled and walked into the wall. So are you uh, trapped here or do you just come and go? Okay, he just smiled and walked into the no, wall. No, I don't hear it now. I heard it for a second, but I'll have to double check it when I get home. But he might have said, I can come and go. But for now, we'll say no. Yeah, well, not much further, might as well. And uh, what's going on? Hang on. Oh, uh, I had a really bad pressure in my head when we were doing the recording and listening to it. But it's gone now. So again, a head pain. Yeah, like crushing. Like it's, it's kind of like it was in a vice or like being squashed. So maybe head trauma from something falling or... Yeah, that, that's what I was thinking. And at least our Yutubian and her son know that they're not the only ones that got it. We've all got neck pains. We've all felt it in the head. So we all got back... Well, I got back pain. Okay. I've always got back pain. <sighs> okay, well, walking a little bit further, my uh, right shoulder's starting to hurt this time. Right in the upper plate right here. So... I don't know, it might be worth recording, might be something, might not. Those seem to switch sides though, eh? Yeah, like at the entrance it was my left side hurting, now it's my right side up here. That is weird. weird when, I, when I mentioned the breeze, the breeze I felt before was going from there to there. Now I feel a cool breeze coming from there back to there along the back of my neck. <laughs> yeah, I guess you can kind of feel very light breeze coming from that. Yeah, and from that direction. From. And before it was going from yeah. this far end. It's it's light enough that I can't really notice it, but if I focus on it, I can. Yeah. I can feel it. Yeah. So the breeze is reverse directions. Yeah. Just in case we get something else. You hear that? Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is. Click, click, click. You hear the tapping? Yeah, it's like someone chiseling. I guess it's happening. Almost like someone's hitting a chisel and a hammer. Which would make sense in a bloody tunnel. Oh, well, this is how they, they board it up. But you guys heard the boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Several times over. Hmm. I'll be surprised if that wasn't picked up. Um, yeah, that, that, that didn't pick up. Oddly enough, I just got a... I don't want to call it a vi like an image or a vision, but like a feeling of child's play. 
And that's a weird thing to have in like a mine or a tunnel. In a railroad tunnel? Yeah. That is an odd thing to have. Like a, a little boy and girl. Well, not if it's one of the main workers. They'd have a place to camp out and they'd have their... Some of them might well, have... Well, usually them. the railroad workers, you know, um, they slept in rail cars. Yeah. So they worked like... Uh, they all have a car set up over well, basically, the tracks. And then, you know, the guys and the kid, you know, family work right around. But there's people who live in this area. Yeah. Who've been around for a while. And it really, it's not that unreasonable, I don't think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's not necessarily one of the workers. It could be one of the people that lived around here. Yeah, it could be some, you know, like someone who grew up in this area, or it could be, you know. Like, the only reason I said that was because Uncle Russell used to take me when he worked on yeah. the railroad. Yeah, but back then it was work days, work crews. And yeah. Guys sleeping in, <laughs> in tents or in a, in a boxcar with cots. Yeah, like, the only, the only thing I was thinking, though, wasn't like the actual workers, but someone like a foreman? in charge. Yeah. Coming to check on the site, taking the kids for a game. Yeah, or it could be you know, like someone from the, you know, the Pacific Gulf line themselves. That, you know, we're doing it, they're laying this. One of the managers or something like that brought the kids uh, from the process start. Like I said, it could be somebody who's been living in the area for eons. Yeah. What, what I'm saying is, it, there is a possibility. Oh, there's so many possibilities. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's have a look at this last bit here. Wait, uh, before we go on, do you have the... Uh... Paratech, I think it was that you use? No, it's at uh, the house. Okay. I didn't bring any equipment, it's just a walkthrough. Yeah, this okay. is you know, just, just a preliminary scout. Just because I would have liked Ooh, to do it. Come here, come here, come here. What, heat? Heat. Yeah. It's like stepping into an oven. What the heck? Yeah, it's warm over here. Like warmer here and then yeah, it was, cold it was over here. over there because shadows and things like that. It would you know, account for that. But oh my god, it's hot. Right here. It's like. Uh, Oh, yeah, I can feel it, like, a breeze of a, hot a air. really like, hot air. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, like, a warm breeze. Then. Cold. Not cold. Uh, it's yeah, like I one step, like... One breeze. One step. Cold. Oh. Not cold. Okay, I walked over here, last to warm, but now, now chill. Yeah. So it's moving, the, the warmth is yeah. moving back and forth. And again, I'm looking at the leaves and nothing's moving. It's not moving. There's no breeze. That's got to be spirit activity. Like that's warmth activity. Like a, a lot of people experience cold chills. Yeah. But sometimes, sometimes when they absorb all the energy so quickly, it heats up the molecules so you get a warm pocket. Hey, my YouTubians, this is the other end of the tunnel. Just a big cliff and big, cliff big drop. I yeah. Uh, Took a while, but I got here. And uh, now for the long trek back. Uh, if anyone else wants to say anything? Yeah, I... 600 feet to go! So, I wasn't sure when to bring this up, but I wanted to go through the entire tunnel just to make sure. And through the entire tunnel, and this might explain the children feeling I had, is I felt really homey, like comfortable, relaxed, just like it was home. Hmm. And with uh, the workers out here, Thing for the whole, basically the whole construction of it. They might have brought families in the area. And that would explain why it would be homey. Well, the guy said there's logging camps just up the road. Yeah, so. There's logging camps up the road. Um, like when Pacific Gulf was building, you know, building this line, uh, they built 60 bridges, built this line, dug this tunnel, and everything else. Yeah, like so. further up to the left is CN rails. You know, the, C, the CN tracks are up up to the left. So Pacific Gulf lost this line. Because so, this used to be where a train ran. Yeah. So, and like I said, if you, know, if, you take, if you ever come out here yourself and you walk along and you take a look, you'll see that this whole road was built up from the land. Yeah, it was all rail track. So they've cut down the forest, Built everything up and laid tracks. I kind of get a look. Think. All right. I can't see it too much, but it's a little bit risen and vegetation there. All right, well, let's, let's head back. Okay, right, that's it for now. Shut her off. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough. Uh, we'll be investigating in a few days here. Uh, and uh, we'll be bringing our equipment.
All right. Looking into the paranormal veil, death waits for no one when it calls. Purgatory is the spirit's jail, built behind the blind man's wall. Catch the specter behind the glass. He repeats in disembodied voice. It all happens when the bones are cast. After death, there is no choice. Looking into the paranormal veil. Death waits for no one when it comes. Purgatory is a spirit's jail. Built behind a blind man's wall. Pastors and 